The first Sniper Elite was obviously one of the very first sniping games ever. It took off massively in popularity. It really focuses on the strategy of sniping, the, the mood, the slow pace of sniping. It's a game that we've been very keen to follow up on uh, for a number of years and it's great to finally have the opportunity to do so now. The game deserved a sequel. It's just very exciting to, to, to bring it back. So where do you start making a sequel? I mean, this is a question we asked ourselves a lot. We wanted to make it more accessible to a, a more mainstream audience and use more of the, uh, the current conventions in gaming. We knew there were certain things about the original game we wanted to make sure that we maintained the authenticity, the mood. See how we can, we can make the original better, see how we can push the technology, um, and how we can make, uh, you know, combine those and make a, a really compelling game. We're set, you know, towards the end of the Second World War in Berlin, it was important that we got that as, as correct and historically accurate as we could. Martin Pegler has been brought into the project to support the realism. He's an expert in World War II and sniping in particular, and he's been there uh, throughout development to really make sure that uh, everything we do is as authentic as it possibly can be. The role of the sniper, the period we're talking about towards the end of the war, had changed somewhat from being a man whose job was simply to intimidate and terrify. They began very specifically to target officers, NCOs, the other snipers, machine gunners, mortar crews, and so snipers became far more specialist than they had been at the beginning. Martin Pegler's been an asset on this project, and it wouldn't be the same game without him. There were a number of design challenges we had to overcome in developing Sniper Elite V2. How to get the right balance of dealing with troops up close and the long range shots, which are essentially what the core of the game is about. It's a sniping game, it's about long range shooting. We work with a team of concept artists to make sure we're designing and working up the aesthetic of the area as we want. We need to work with our design team to make sure that there are long shots in there, that there are areas where you can be stealthy. Really, just a variety of scenarios where the player can exploit the gameplay to its best and get the most satisfaction from the game. One of the, the main challenges we faced with making this game was retaining and maximising that sense of freedom for players. We had to ensure that all our level designs and all our mechanics kind of really fed into this sense of freedom to make sure that, that players have a choice with every encounter of every level. This sense of freedom really feeds into one of the main goals of the, the project, which was realism. We're trying to recreate a faithful representation of Berlin. Obviously Berlin wasn't a corridor, and reflecting that brings a natural amount of freedom to the game. Generally, more than one approach to, to any objective. Recreating Berlin is a real challenge. There's a lot of diversity there, which is really exciting for us as an art team. So one of the most exciting things about Berlin is that it's destroyed and I think anyone being confronted with a destroyed building or patch of destroyed buildings wants to explore it. And that's exactly what we allow in the environment, to find the best sniping possibilities, areas to be stealthy and really make the, the, the environment work with the game's design. It took very experienced troops with a lot of discipline to be able to fight efficiently through those streets. You never knew what was going to be around the next corner, or through the doorway you, you were going through. You could walk into a room full of resting German soldiers. RAI, they're, they're patrolling around, they're, you know, you leave them to their own devices. If you're creeping around the level, you'll see them, you know, sitting at tables, smoking cigarettes, having conversations, those kind of things. You know, we really need to get the sense that these were real characters in the level that you're having to outwit. Once you've alerted them to the fact that you're there, like by taking a shot, they'll react very plausibly. They won't necessarily know exactly where you are just from hearing the one reverberating shot. But by the time you've taken two or three shots, they're going to figure it out. So it's really important that you relocate between bursts of shots. Shoot two or three times um, before the enemy have got any idea where you are. You've gone and you've taken up a new position. Uh, a single sniper could hold up a platoon or sometimes even a battalion of men by efficient use of his rifle uh, and clever concealment. The street fighting that's portrayed is actually, I think, very realistic. A really unique part of our game is the kill cam. So we have to make sure that whilst the character art is strong, we're even underneath that animating a series of real bones and making sure that they're fitting together correctly, they're moving correctly. We've got tissue, sinew, there are organs in there, the lung is there, the heart is beating. So for us the kill cam was the main moment at which the game leaves this ultra realism and a lot of fun for us to play around with. We really wanted to capture that idea of riding on the bullet at that speed that it's going. So we went and captured lots of fast vehicles and planes some cars.
The second half, of course, being that bullet passing through the organs and the bones of its victim. We jumped in the recording room for a few hours, seeing what sounds we could get out of celery and tomatoes and melons and all sorts of different things. Then mixing them together and basically working out which organs they best represented and hooking them up accordingly. Sniper Elite V2 has been a great project to work on. It's great to come back to the franchise after a number of years away from it and be able to do all the things that we weren't able to do before to bring it to the next level. We've worked really hard to make Sniper Elite the best game it can be. People are going to go ballistic when they see it and they're going to really enjoy it.